Hi, my name is Bob Grinier and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. So this package has arrived from Japan and I understand it's going to be a bunch of samples, uh, one of which is a replication that uh, Sho and Roy Shinomaza did of the test with the 10 yen coin. So let's have a look in here, see what we have. Uh, also, some tests with uh, fluorine, hydrogen, carbon. What am I talking about? I'm talking about PTFE and uh, PTFE and Mars, I guess. Okay, what have we got in here? Fine. I should think about what I'm saying before I do things. What have we got in here? What have we got in here? Okay. Oh, nicely wrapped. Ah, oh, that saves me a job. They're actually in packages here. Okay, so what do we have? 20, 25th of the 6th, 2020. What do we have here? Okay. Oh, okay, we have a, uh, a really... Oh, we have a couple of 10 yen coins. <laughs> Thank you for that. And we have a really beaten up one. And uh, potentially some interaction between a 10 yen coin and some PTFE. Okay, that's uh, interesting. So I'm going to get that in focus there. So that's a 10 yen coin that's seen better days. Let's put it like that. Okay, what else do we have? We have some uh, PTFE and some stainless steel 304. So stainless so steel 304 and PTFE, I sh should imagine that is what that is. Okay. Nice that they're all in the sample bags. And this is some Mars gas and uh, what is it? Some Mars gas stainless steel 304 with water underneath. Okay. So water on one side and uh, a Mars gas on the other side of the stainless steel. So that's a whole bunch of samples there. Yeah. What have I done with a knife bed again? Now, there's a thing, couple of things I wanted to get onto this week which I wasn't able to. Uh, one is to more work on the supernova reactor. Uh, but really I want to tell people how to um, deal with shielding for strange radiation, at least best practice. And uh, I really can't start that experiment until I've got the best kind of shielding I can imagine and I have something really, really special to share with you next week and I want to thank our Russian colleagues uh, for sharing the information with the world and so there will be a presentation next um, uh, week or maybe I might do it over the weekend, let's see, where I will talk about uh, something that they have done which uh, adds to my list that was in my original Ode presentation, which I will uh, dust off and extract a slide from there, uh, which talks about methods for shielding. And we can combine all these uh, uh, various understandings together and uh, have a sort of current guide to uh, saving yourself from strange radiation, hopefully, or at least putting yourself at hopefully lower risk. So this was on the 18th of the 6th and this is a Mars gas with titanium and water underneath. So 
He did a series of these experiments, and I will share some of the videos which I have. Uh, and these are the uh, samples that came from those experiments. So that's that. I think there's another one in here as well. I do like how he's packaging this. He, everyone can learn a lot about proper packaging of samples this way. And in fact, when we were with them, uh, the samples went straight into a little plastic bags, so it's quite encouraging. So this is a similar type of experiment. So uh, he's got a Mars gas uh, on the titanium plate with PTFE underneath. So there's the PTFE, and there is the titanium plate. So uh, I'm going to have to make sure I keep these samples such that they are... Uh, there's a lot of cleaning going on between looking at each one. But that's it. So thank you very much to show. And uh, it's going to take me a bit of time to get to these. Uh, but I have them now. So uh, we can have a look at those. I might take a sneak peek at uh, some of them. Uh, if anyone's got a preference, let me know. I think it's quite interesting, these experiments where they had uh, on the 25th of uh, June there. Uh, a Mars gas onto stainless steel 304 with water underneath. Uh, it does look interesting, some things on there. So thank you very much for your time. Uh, please look out for the videos I will be sharing next week. Um, as I say, I will be focusing one on uh, how you can observe strange radiation um, physically and protect from it and uh, potentially and this um, is something that uh, I think the whole community really needs to uh, take on board and uh, if you've been watching the videos over the last couple of weeks uh, essentially the information is in there but sometimes it's difficult to uh, really understand what you're seeing unless it's spelt out for you um, and so because so many people have died from cancers working around these things and unknown causes. Uh, people like Matsumoto, Shoulders, uh, Bajatov, Norris Peary, etc. Uh, we need to uh, apply what we know to protect ourselves when we do this research. So thank you very much for your time and I will see you in the next video.